So now I have all my arms and legs and my body sewn together. I'm ready to start turning. While you're doing this, when you get started for the body, you're gonna make some cuts because you want the ears to be more emphasized, you want the ankles to be detailed, you want the head to stand out. So what I'm gonna do is take my small scissors and I'm gonna make just a little cut at the bottom of the ear. Don't cut too far in, you don't wanna cut your seams, you don't wanna cut your stitches. What this is gonna do is just make it easier to turn and also give the material a little bit of a way to flatten out once it's inside the bear. So I'm just making little teeny cuts at the neck and the ears, and then I will do the ankle of the bear, which is right here. All right. And now we're ready to turn. If you need to use your dowel, if you have very thick or heavy material, don't hesitate to do that. You want to very gently Bring your bear back through those tabs that I made, through that hole you left open. Being careful not to push too much through at a time because you don't want to tear it. If you do have to do the dowel, make sure you don't poke it through because you don't want to tear the bear. So you can see when we made the bear originally, when we made him inside out, his ears were tremendous. They were huge. They're not so big now. And that's right. Okay. Still doesn't look much like a bear though, does he? But he will. So the next thing you wanna do is bring out those ears. So I'm gonna get my sewing thread again. And this time, I'm gonna put my needle in the seam right next to the right next to the ear. I'm going to make a diagonal line like that across so that the ear is not stuffed. If you stuff the ears, he'll have horns instead of ears. I'm also going to bring this ear out a little bit, still not completely turned. Gently so that I don't open the seam. All right, so I'm going to go in right here. And I'm just going to very carefully follow the line of the head. If you need to use your pattern for guidance, you certainly can. Okay, now I know you can't see my stitches, they're too small. But then I'm gonna go back again and pass through one more time. Got a little knot going on there. There we go. Okay. So you can see that I've just sewn right across the edge of the head to bring out the ear. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now I've got both of my ears pulled out. My nose is there. And the next thing we're going to do is stuff the body of the bear so that we can make the face. Now as you're stuffing, you want to use your stuffing tool if you need to. 
You don't want to stuff the bear too full. It's amazing how much polyfill these little bears will hold. But on the other hand, he is supposed to be soft and appealing, so you don't want to make him really, really full and, and hard. Sometimes it's a little difficult to get it started. Okay, so I've got some stuffing in there. I'm gonna use my tool and get it up into his head. Make sure that you bring out the nose. Stuff that polyfill right up into the front of his face. His face is gonna be a little bit misshapen until you get it all in there. That's all right. He will still be a beautiful bear. You can see now why we didn't stuff the ears. These ears are, are brought out nicely. As you're doing this, make sure that you don't tear your, your opening. This is why I always be very, very careful, tie an extra knot when I'm about to sew the, the around the tabs. Just take it slow. Don't try to put too much in at a time. And you can see he's rounding out nicely now. Believe it or not, most of what I've put in this bear is up in his head. Make sure that his nose is completely full. Otherwise, you won't be able to put the stitching on. Poor bear. All right, so I have my bear stuffed. He's not really firm, he's just enough to poke. You've heard that expression, poke the bear. There you are, we're poking the bear. My back is still open, so I need to close that before I can put the face on. And that's going to be just with a, a ladder stitch or a back and forth stitch. I'm just going to put my thread in and catch that. This is the tab that we had made and I'm just gonna catch the edges of it and gently pull it closed because you don't wanna tear it. I'm also kind of pushing the, firm, the uh, polyfill in as I go. So I don't wanna get that caught on the outside. And you can see that this is closing it up nicely. You want to take your time with this part. You don't want to rush. You want your stitches to be small. If you can make them the same length apart, that would be helpful. If not, you can go back over. I'm just kind of squeezing them together as I go. All right, so I have all my, my back seam closed up. I don't want to tie a knot in this because it'll, it'll be obtrusive. You'll be able to see it. So what I want to do is I'm just going to go back 
along my seam and I'm gonna poke my needle in and come out again along the seam. And I'm just gonna do that all the way up the length of the seam I just sewed. Just in and out, right through what I just did. I think one more will work. Okay. I'm gonna do one more on the way back down. And that's it. You can cut that off. And the bear is together now. He's not going to come apart. <laughs>